Hi. Today is day... 42. 42. And we've had quite a few people ask us uh, to do an evaluation and like a, a reflection about what's happened in our last... 42 days, what changed, and, and looking back in retrospect, what some of the things that have changed. Yep. So we decided uh, we'd write some down and mm. we, we didn't compare out no. each other's mm-hmm. um, changes. Go ahead with mine yes, first. you go yours first. Mine's quite a short list, but it's still pretty important for me. I'm sleeping better and I feel more rested. I have more get up and go. When did that happen? Oh, actually, pretty quickly. After, yeah, quite quickly, within the first week. Uh, less moody, uh, more in the now. I've sort of noticed that over the last two or three weeks. Uh, more resilience, just to um, people's emotional disturbances during the day, basically to do with my job. Uh-huh. Um, I feel quite distinctly separate from what everyone else is eating, like as if that's in a totally, that's in a separate world. So how are you me. dealing with that? Well, like, very, how, what about the, how has it changed a along the way? I thought that I would be more in there and having a go and having a look and going, oh my god. But I'm not, I'm just going, wow, they're just swimming in a different stream from me. Uh-huh. And then, just in myself, quite mindful in my food preparation, you know, aware in the morning about what I want to put in, in this breakfast this morning that's going to serve me today and the next day and the next day after that. And, um, yeah. And I never would have thought that I would really hang out for my salads. Mm-hmm. But I do definitely need something physical to eat and crunch down. Yeah. Yep, that's it. But you're happy to have smoothies too, really. Oh yeah, I love them. Love them. Okay, here's my list. Now you chime in as well whenever okay. you... Because my list is nice and long. Okay, we've had physical weight loss. That would be my first one. So we've had... I've had 8 kilos. I don't know what it is. Eight, eight kilograms. I've also said better sleep. Um, my bowels initially were a bit dodgy. Mm-hmm. And I, had, I had like diarrhea and stuff like that going on. That all settled down, and now just really regular. Uh huh. About you? My, I'm, I'm regular. I'm better than what I ever was before. Uh, my energy is just amazing, and. My running. So it's then simple need food. Oh, that's right. And when my energy goes down, that's my code words. When my energy goes down, like today we're out gardening. In the heat and of the sun. In the heat, it's like 36 degrees Celsius here, which is pretty hot. And it just, my energy started, we were dividing worms from the worm, worm castings and doing yeah. all this stuff. So after a couple of hours, about two or three hours, uh, I started to go down and just started to feel like dip down and then it's so simple and then I realised I need to eat something if I'm feeling just a bit depleted mm-hmm. and then I actually drank water first and that made me feel a lot better mm-hmm. and then I realised no no I don't just need water I need food as well and so then it brought me back up again um, my skin physically is a lot clearer do you know mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, I noticed that Initially, within about the first it week. it wasn't, I remember, and it oh. was, I had outbreaks and then that flushed out. Okay, and I just remember it clearing up. Yeah, yeah. it's good, isn't it? Um, emotionally, emotional world. Less, definitely less moody, mm-hmm. definitely. Oh, physical, also um, to do with the physical is when I get my monthly cycle, when I get my menstruation period, or whatever you call it, um, I have always had... In, like terrible pain and I've always had to take like a drug like naprogesics for it every month and my would probably have to take it every couple of times like take it mm-hmm. first and then take it a few times yeah. later um, none of that I've had no pain at all this time and it was just no hassle I didn't have any moods and bloating nothing nothing it was just could have gone on as so I wasn't there it was really good um so less emotionally, less mood swings. Um, yeah, being less emotionally engaged. So, um, and that's all of this is sort. Of, I mean, it's very holistic. But um, coming together is like I have more self appreciation, and therefore I feel more accepted. You know, more self acceptance, 
and then I'm feeling happier. I feel I wake up in the morning, and before I was really depressed, and I would. That's my dog sparking. Probably. Someone's here. <laughs> um. My. Oh, so it's my dog sparking. Um. <laughs> Can I just tell her to? No. Hey. Hey. I'm always like Ellie. Good girl. And no, oh, that's that's her. And then um. So I'm happier, I'm joyful, I have a lot more gratitude. So when I actually wake up in the morning and I start to come back into consciousness, I I feel excited and happy to come back and spend another day here. Mm-hmm. And the reasons are down below because of why. Um, so I'm not feeling depressed and overwhelmed and not being able to do something and not, you know, this, that. I used to have a lot of lack of self-worth and all that. That's all gone. Um, mentally, that's good. That's really good. Now. Yeah, that really is good. good. Thanks. Mentally, uh, sharper concentration. I have uh, my problem-solving ability, <laughs> and my. I hope you're not going to disagree on any of these. And my problem-solving and my thinking are a lot clearer. So I'm able to rub the neurons together and come up with. It's just faster thinking. It's just that there's better cognition going on. It's like, um, you know, it feels like for me, I've cleaned the mud off my mm-hmm. my mental process. Do you feel that? Yeah, you have. You're a bit more, well, you're a lot more resolute. Mm. You know, you're a bit more confident yeah. when you speak and stuff. Yeah. Oh, even to do videos. Mm, definitely. Considering where I've been. Mm. Um.